Hi guys, welcome back to my vanity. Today what we're going to do is an empties video. So I feel like it's been forever, but it really hasn't. But I've accumulated too much stuff. My empties drawer is full. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so first off, let's just start out with hair care items. We'll get that out of the way. All right, so I've got um, the Herbal Essence Bile Renew Naked Volume White Grapefruit and Mimosa Mint Shampoo. This was sent to me by Influencer. I actually do like this line, so I've looked for it at the store before. I think I've repurchased something from this line, but it was on a clearance, so I did like that. Then I have the Garnier Whole Foods Whole Foods, the Garnier Whole Blends Hydrating Shampoo, Coconut Water, and Vanilla Mint Extract. I didn't use this too, too much. My husband actually did. I just picked it up something quick for him to use, but um, I used it a couple of times. It's a very thick, nourishing shampoo, just like it says it's supposed to be. I've got a Macadamia Professional Texturizing Salt Spray. I really like this stuff. I don't think I'm able to get it anymore. The salon store doesn't carry it, and I do believe I've been seeing this brand on Outlook, so I don't know if it's being discontinued, but I liked it. Um, seeing that I couldn't get that, I did replace it with the Sexy Hair, which is by Tony and Guy or Big Sexy Hair. So it's their Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Renewal Beach Spray with Argan Oil. The scent is a little bit lighter, which is nice. I bet it performs much the same way when my hair is almost dry. I'll spray this in there and scrunch it up. I didn't do that today, but I already replaced this. Then I have the Matrix Total Results So Long Damage break free leave-in elixir. I love this. I've already repurchased it. I think this is either my second or third bottle right here. And um, since I've been using it in my hair, I don't get those weird little breakage points on it. So I really love this. I do two pumps after I get out of the shower and I love it. I've already repurchased it. This, um, it's not quite gone. It's their Not Your Mother's Way to Grow Leave-In Conditioner. It's okay, it smells like candy. Actually, I couldn't finish it because the pump kind of broke. It wouldn't spray out anymore. But it smells like kids stuff. It smells too fruity. So I won't rebuy it. I didn't buy it anyway, but I won't buy it. Uh, this was also a sample that was in a subscription box, which is the Rusk Mousse Volumizing. Volumizing Mousse. Uh, so it's a medium hold. I did like this at first. I didn't really when I was using it. And the ends was just like right here on my part to give it a little bit of something, but otherwise I probably wouldn't have bought it, but I think if I do, I'll buy a travel size. Okay, next up is this Amika, the Wizard C Buckthorn Berry Multi-Benefit Primer for all hair types. It was kind of just like an oil spray that you put on. Uh, I didn't care for the applicator. It tended to spray out all over and it got all over my bathroom floor, just all over everything. So I won't rebuy this. Um, I think it should be like in a pump, I feel like, and then you should just run it through your hair, but I won't rebuy this one. I've got this Kenra Brightening Treatment. It's Intense Violet Toning Mask, and it was just that. I don't know that you guys will be able to see it, but it was just a very vibrant purple toning mask that you would put on your hair. I did use it before I colored my ends again uh, because it was just so brassy and warm. This uh, helped to get some of that out. I also have a different one that I use. Then this little sample guy, it's the ACV by DP Hue. It was an apple cider vinegar hair rinse. It was okay. It was sort of weird, um, but it was supposed to help remove the buildup from your hair. I won't buy this, um, but I used up the sample. And then I just have a little sample size of the Kenra Volume Spray, which is their Super Hold Finishing Spray. And I have others. I will continue to use those. I just have two Bath & Body Works. One in Sunshine Days, which is a bright sunflowers. And I really liked this scent, as well as Napa Valley Sunset. I liked both. I think I only have one more uh, Bath & Body Works body wash that I currently have in the camper, but other than that, I am currently going to be out of that. Then I did have uh, two deodorants. Usually I use the Degree, and this one was in Sexy Intrigue, the scent, and it was okay, and I love the Degree. I have rebought this already, not that same scent, and then I wanted to try some natural deodorant, and I got this Tom stuff, and it's no good. It's no good. Uh, it just feels really wet when you put it on, and it doesn't feel like it dries. I don't feel like it helps keep the scent away, you know? It's not really doing a good job at deodorizing you. So I pass, it's 
I didn't use it all the way up. It's it's no good. If you guys have any recommendations for natural deodorants, let me know in the comments below. Preferably drugstore. If not, I suppose high end. But I'm hoping to maybe transition to a natural uh, deodorant. Moving on, let's cover the makeup stuff, and then we'll <clears throat> go into the skincare stuff. I have this Jabinesque solid brush cleanser. It's a gentle coconut cleansing balm. It's not empty. I just don't like this. I feel like it, I almost used it, like I've almost hit the bottom of the plastic pan here. I almost used it up, but it just leaves like a film on my brushes and it does a terrible job at getting the makeup out. So I just I had to go back to the Sephora one. This is just no good. I do have the Lorac Tantalizer. This was a sample size little guy here. It is completely empty all the way down to pan. I did really like this. This was their matte bronzer. I don't know though if I would purchase the full size because it took me a long time to get through this and I feel like the full size is pretty big so it would have to be like your only bronzer but I might repurchase the travel size. Then I used up a Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I did really like this powder. I used everything. I pressed it and then used up every little last little bit. I had it in 110 porcelain. I will rebuy this. I have a lip gloss here. I think it probably should have made it in my declutter, but I put it in here beforehand. This is in the color Alex. I just don't care for it. It's just too dark and I won't use it. Plus it was starting to separate, so that's why it's in here. I used up a Their Real Mascara sample size and a Their Real Tinted Primer. I won't rebuy them because I do already have just the mascaras. Then I used up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. That's that little triangle shape, like you guys can even see from that far away. Triangle shaped one. But I don't know that I'll rebuy this. I currently have two other brow products, but they're drugstore that I'm that I'm using, so I won't rebuy anything yet. But I did really like this. The color I had mine in was ebony, and it and it works pretty well for my brows. Then I have two of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting sprays. I love this setting spray. It's affordable. It's easy to find. Usually you can get it with a like a dollar off. So I just like it and the mister on it is really good. I like that it's compact because I don't always use setting spray. So it's nice that it's not a large bottle sitting around. But I did use up two. I already have a new one, so I don't need to rebuy it. I already did. Then I just have like a bunch of little samples of perfume. I have the Replica Beach Walk. I don't know if I'll be able to smell any of these anymore. And then I have the Tory Burch Love Relentlessly. Yeah, I can't really sen smell them anymore. And the Elizabeth James Nirvana Rose. Chloe Black Opium by... YSL, Mon Paris by YSL, Derek Lamb, 10 Crosby, 2 AM Kiss. Then I also had this weird little sample size, well I guess it's not a sample, it's just a sample packet of like a perfume wipe. And it's in Prim, Prim Rose, just says Madagascan, Vanilla, Caramel, and Sandalwood. That must be the scents on it. I, it was okay. It's a neat idea, but I won't rebuy that. Um, some of the perfumes I did like, but, you know, too bad I can't smell them anymore. So I don't remember what they smell like. I have a Josie Moran Argan Cleansing Oil. This I used to, like, a pre-cleanse, break down my makeup and stuff like that. I liked it. I got it for Christmas from my mom, so thank you, Mom, if you're watching. And it came in a little sample set with other products, but I don't know that I'll rebuy it. Um, if I did, maybe just the sample size, because this was a good good amount of time. Then I have this Say Yes to Cucumber Soothing Calming Micellar Cleansing Water. I did like this. What's really great is it comes with like this little handy dandy pump, and you just push down with your little cotton round on there, and it dispenses the product. I have repurchased another micellar water from Say Yes to, but it is in the cotton one. So I will rebuy from the brand I already did, but I, I did. I just wanted to try a different one, but I would buy this one again. Then I used up the Pixi Glow Mist. I really liked this. I won't rebuy it quite yet because I do currently have a different misty type product like that from the face shop, but I did like this and um, possibly we'll get it this winter. This seems like it was so long ago that I purchased it and I'm not sure how to pronounce this brand. Marcel, I believe. This was when I was subscribed to Ipsy, I believe, which has been a long time since I've been subscribed to Ipsy. 
but I got this with my points. I liked it. I kept it in the shower. It's just like good for in the morning because it doesn't strip my skin. I don't need to like really cleanse it all that much. I was just sleeping. So I love a foam cleanser for that. And I don't think I'll rebuy it, but I used it. And I have the Neutrogena Naturals Purifying Facial Cleanser. I will definitely not rebuy this. I did use it all up, but I, I don't know. It just it says no harsh chemicals, sulfates, parabens, petrolatium dyes, and phylacolates. I think that's what that is. It just was a little bit harsh on my skin. It kind of burned a little bit when I used it, so I won't rebuy it, but I did use it up. Then I have the Bare Minerals Smart Combination Smoothing Light Emulsion. I don't know if it's really like a serum or a moisturizer. It's kind of in between, but it just has this little pump. You can't really tell how much product is in there, but this is completely empty. I did really like it while I was using it. I don't know yet that I will repurchase it just because I do have so much skincare to use, but I did really enjoy it. It made my skin feel just like plump and hydrated, uh, and I didn't feel like I necessarily had to use like a really heavy moisturizer afterwards, so it really layered well with like a different moisturizer, but I liked it. More and more and more skincare. So I have the Pure Lease Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk. I liked this. I don't think I will buy it. It's something that I would have to buy online, so I probably won't. Then I have the Ceramic Slip Clay Cleanser by Sunday Riley. I really actually liked this. Um, I would consider buying it. I have another sample yet of it, but I I did really like it. So it's on my maybe wish list on my Sephora app that it's something I'm interested in buying. Then I have the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser. I don't think I liked this. It has sort of like that Noxzema sort of feel to it. I know it's not harsh like that on your skin, but that's the way it felt to me, and it kind of had that same color and consistency. It did um, tingle a little bit on my skin, so I'm not sure if it has some like menthol or spearmint, some kind of something like that in it, but I won't buy the full size. And then I have the Real Chemist Luminous 3-Minute Peel. This is like one of those gel peel, like a chemical peel. So you put it on your skin, and then it just kind of like balls up. I did like this. I did have it on my like wish list for a while. I don't know though that I'm gonna like run out and buy it tomorrow, but I, I liked it. Then I have the Lancome by Facel Eye Makeup Remover. I actually really did like this. It did a really good job at removing the makeup. I used it more like a micellar water because I don't typically have heavy eye makeup, but it did a good job at like breaking down your all your eyeshadow and your mascara before washing your face. So I liked it. I don't think I will rebuy it. All right, then I have a First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. I liked this. Um, it had little like oatmeal chunkies in it. I liked the packaging. Um, it kind of sucks that it's not recyclable, but I did use it up and I felt like uh, it, it just was kind of convenient to have it in here. And I honestly would just like squirt it <laughs> right on my face and then rub it all over. So I didn't have to um, scoop it out of a jar or anything like that, but I liked it. And I don't know that I'll rebuy it though. Then we have a bunch of sheet masks here. I have a bunch by the Tony, Tony Mole, got three. I have their uh, Pore Care, which is their red wine mask sheet. I like this, I already have some more. I have their I'm Real Avocado Mask sheet. I liked that as well. I don't guess I don't have to say I'm Real every time because that's exactly what they all say, but this is their rice mask for clear skin. Then I have two of this by Nature, I believe that's how you say it. It's their White C mask pack. So it's just got like a vitamin C in there, green tea extract, and a bunch of other things. I have two of these. I have more to use. I will continue to use them. Then I have one from the My Beauty Diaries. It's their collagen mask, Pure Lease Blue Lotus Seaweed Treatment Sheet Mask. I did really like this. Then I have another a Dr. Dennis Gross Frulic and Retinol Wrinkle Recovery Peel. I did really like these. It's more of like, it's not a sheet mask, but it's like an exfoliating pad. They are pricey though, but it is on my Sephora wish list. I have the Global Beauty Care Under Eye Pads. This is something I picked up from TJ Maxx. I don't care for these, but I have more. I will use them. This is by Skin9 Village Super Puppy Whitening Honey Mask. The Cream Shop Chia Seed for Ultra Hydration. The Cream Shop Collagen Mask, 
the Say Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Mask, the Peking Opera Mask Pack. It's whitening collagen pack, so it's like a brightening and collagen. Uh, Seven Wonders Mediterranean Olive Brightening Mask. This is a biocellulose mask. I absolutely love these. Uh, be on the lookout for these on Outlook or at like TJ Maxx if you don't want to purchase right off their website, but I love these masks. So that's everything for my empties. I hope you made it to the end. Please subscribe before you leave if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!